Greetings. This is General of the Armies, Vincent Diaz, Jr. This is a communique for Vladimir Putin. Attention to all world leaders, all matriarchs, and all patriarchs, CC, all stakeholders, and BCC, all those. The proposal was made to trying to validate the existence of humans still existing at this point. Well, I have continued trying to actually use my logic of anything I can understand. I've logically learned to validate the conditions here. I've been trying to understand like the, um, the patterns of the universe around us or us within the universe. They've changed so much, like my claims, uh, my day is their year. So I, I completely understand this as I've been complaining about nuclear strikes or nuclear weapons and nuclear power. While also um, having been working over my story on how I and we uh, uh, destroyed their sun and destroyed their planet. And it makes a lot of sense to be in the super nuclear hell of the sun destroyed. With this, 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 these conditions being the case that having had destroyed the sun, the, the universe would be capable of uh, going through these patterns, as we've talked about, strange, somewhat, somewhat, you know, still, still something we know, while all the nuclear strikes would explain the sun having been exploded, as this is the death of the sun sequence. We all sort of understand, we have this sort of valid logic of, of knowledge of our standard education, of a full education. So having exploded the sun, having these patterns go, is the case of Riding out the explosion to the end of the death of the sun. I'm trying to hold my compassion and be the most beautiful form of life I can be. Um, to, to be what I want human beings to represent reflectively at me as, as images of God. Um, God, boss, has told me the condition. We might have this problem, this massive master problem, over with by sunrise and he says if we can't get a human uh, uh, per terms of my um, proposal to validly communicate with me by sunrise that's far more than enough proof there's never been a valid communication from humans to even validate humans existence in any way existence can ever communicate humans have existed. And I'm trying to drop down my proposal. Because uh, humans are off term. I think I have the term lady in ladies clothing. Lady. Ladies clothing. And it should mean female. So all I need is ladies clothing that can validly be worn by a human that can validly communicate with me. To confirm it can never be done before sunrise or we have hit our condition to end this existence of these apparitions of humans or any sort of humans, humanity, or any of that without this validation of a valid communication from them at sunrise we have the right to end the existence of whatever it really is they have ever been by any terms. Over. Starting with the basic unit, giving them their terms back. Over them ever having left quarantine, having ever got to quarantine in this pandemic, and needing destruction completely, a standard protocol over it. Now I'll try to end my airing of grievances, so I've tried to make humorous with these terms like Seinfeld's Festivus. I don't know that I will. Maybe I can quit with it being enough to end further grievances needing to be aired. All humans and humanity have ever existed as are the um, fouls and penalties that are never really allowed in any way. We've defined them anyway. Using these terms, as I try to have my perfect sportsmanship, but I've always had to explain this, like they've ever been sporting, or this has ever been a sport or a competition or anything, in any way, um, over them just always having been, and at this point only in, only in always being 
all penalties and fouls and all of those terms. Um, this, this was basic, the, one of these basic clauses of um, th th their total loss by unsportsmanlike conduct, one and all. Down to this basic term I'm trying to use here. I just need one proof. One proof. Like it's a chance they can ever have good sportsmanship. Just one proof of a valid communication by my terms, by standard logic, communicating. One valid communication from a lady in ladies' clothing, wearing it validly, meaning she's female. By sunrise. U using hockey terms with these terrible terms of these politicians I try to stop, how they want to fight everything. So I always want to have a fight, a fight forever. We basically have them all out of the game. The hockey game is just ended. It's over. It's not being sporting. I'm still in play. I'm still on the ice. Everyone is in the penalty box, but it's the case. It's everyone. So they're basically in the locker rooms. So I'm in the penalty box. I'm just waiting it out. Like one person has to even prove they understand what it is to be allowed on the field of play by one valid communication by one lady in ladies clothing to prove she's female by valid wearing them. This is the maximum grace and beauty of God's love. Somewhat wrathful. Wrathful in being the maximum grace and beauty the best way when the problem is sort of the grace and beauty like there could have been another way. With the beauty and grace having showed up in our politics once Russia got in, and here one of my simple, simple, simple lessons, trying to get one of these politicians, when wrong, to admit she was wrong and apologize. Maybe she should be the one. Remotely even. Yeah, right. Okay. I pray for your guidance. I pray, I pray to my higher power that we can get this right beyond my standard training. I know it's failed the whole way. This could simply be the simplest form of a check of communication, like learning a foreign language, where I tell, I say what I say, while having taught the other person to say what they're supposed to say back to me. And they can even just complete this sequence for me. It's just the simplest form of ever proving there's ever been the capability to learn communication it should be able to be repeated here. I know it basically all ways. I'm not prepared to actually have the script of so I begin. I begin. Um, I'm trying to you know, be, be perfect and in no way represent any sort of harm anyone's feared. I said, a lady in ladies' clothing that badly wears ladies' clothing to prove she's female. So I, I need to maybe have her show up in the ladies' clothing where we can probably greet each other. I don't even know if we need that much. But I can confirm that she's in ladies' clothing and wearing them validly without having committed any sort of foul or penalty or harm or having done it in any sort of unsporting like way. And, and then prove that she's not just, that, that this is not the case of ladies' clothing having an apparition of a lady in them and not needing physical contact, of course. With the terms from God Boss being a valid communication from said individual. So I have some basics as the cats have sort of snapped me on these humans. There shouldn't be a repetition. I don't say it exactly. Please tell me you're alive. I'm alive. Please tell me you can think. I can think. Now please tell me I'm alive and I can think. I'm alive and I can think. For, for, this, for the sake of just, just slaughtering, slaughtering the, what, what might be the worst case scenario they can complete these conditions. I'll, with, I'll withhold from here. Although there might be further valid communication needed. I'm not sure that this is enough. Uh, preferring it's not just me. So then I have, I have a little bit further. I would hope this person has a name. And then I would ask the person where I actually want them to do some thinking work of themselves. So they have scripted, scripted rep repetitions to put their name in place of I and repeat the exact same thing as best they can, their own words, preferably exactly what I said with their name 
in place of I in the sequence. So, so here, here's, a, here's a standard sequence. Uh, it's like I want to go through another lesson. It's our basic lesson. It's so easy to me. And, and I, I, you, know, so you have to understand that my means I in a special way. You can place your name and be an individual in it. My name is. My family name is. My last name is. My name is. Um, Eve. And I'm alive and I can think. That's like the minimum unit. My name is Eve. And I'm alive. My name is Eve and I can think. So I scripted it. If this message could ever get through to someone to just show up and repeat it. Can someone even just show up and try to repeat this exact thing? But in, in, in my request, they don't just get to play this back to me. Sometimes they just show up with my message to me. So a valid form of communication. Confirmation I've communicated to someone. That would work. Probably. Minimum. At least I can I cannot at least I cannot like score the final time in the hockey game to end it. Uh, uh, okay, we're working all over terms. Hello, I have a name. I have a name, and I'm alive and can think. Come on. It's like it's impossible. It's sad. I have a name and am alive and thinking. I have a name and am alive and can think. I have a name and am thinking alive. I'm thinking and living and have a name. I'm alive with a name and thinking. I'm thinking with a name and alive. 